Hello everyone. Hello Elion. Welcome back to Little Solace, where we're going to believe in ourselves and take a look at the tempered ones. See what they're up to. Let's uh let's see, do we want Yeah, we'll put his hat on! Now he looks like he's ready for battle. Although he doesn't have his weapon out, but it clashes and clips into the hat and it looks weird, so I don't like it. Anyway, just in case anything dangerous comes along, we want to be prepared. Okay, here we go. So we need to look out right there. There we go. Is this what we needed? Are the tempered ones here? Okay. There we go. Haha. -ha. I'm good at games. There they are. All peaceful and purple. There are tempered sylphs in the distance. You do not sense that they pose a danger if left alone. Well then, I think we're done here. Now, we need to deliver Frixio's note, his missive. Something else that uh, I need to mention, the cutscene that we missed at the end of Totorak introduced a new character that will be referenced later in this video. That's where it is. If you get a chance to do the dungeon yourself, um, you might, you know, you'll be able to take a look, or maybe you'll find another video online. I'm going to try and do something about this. Uh, we've missed quite a few dungeon cutscenes because of uh, the groups that we've been in throughout this series, and I'm going to try to uh, see if I can't do something about that myself. But uh, I don't think there's a way for me uh, with uh, Elion here to look over them, so. For now, just look up Totorak, see if you can't find that cutscene. Ah, if it isn't Elion. How went the meeting with the Sylphs? A missive from the Sylph Elder himself. If I may. You may not! Wait, oh, okay. So the Sylphs have no desire for conflict. Nor do they intend to summon Ramu. And so long as we leave the Tempered Ones be, we need not fear any aggression on their part. The Elder Seed Seer will be overjoyed to hear that the Sylphs have welcomed our overtures, and in the knowledge that they bear us no ill will, we may channel our resources toward tackling the more conspicuous threats to our security. You have done this nation a great service, my friend. On behalf of all Gridanians, I give you my thanks. And some monies. Not too much, but it works. Alright. Next! The Sylphic folk have long been friends to Gridania. The mere thought of being at war with them pained the Elder Seed Seer to no end. But, owing to your efforts, she will be able to rest easier. Being the benevolent soul that she is, my lady will surely try to find a way to reverse the tempering process. Once again, I thank you. Had the Scions of the Seventh Dawn not offered to mediate between our peoples, suspicion and doubt may well have led us into needless conflict. I pray pass on my regards to Lady Menphilia. And as if called by her name... Hello? Hello, Elion. Can you hear me? It is I, Menphilia. Wait, wrong tone. Anyway. Ida and Papa Limo returned some little while ago, and they wasted no time in regaling me with the tale of your exploits. 
I mean, I just, you know, whatever. Thanks in large part to you. The name of one primal may be struck from our list of enemies, and the Gridanians may turn their attention to more pressing matters. Well done. Yet the end of one tale is but the start of another. Pray return to the Waking Sands at your earliest convenience. I would apprise you of the present situation in person. Well, I did was a little prison break. I'm not entirely sure why that's such a big deal, but uh, I'll take it. That's fine. All right. All right. Okay. That's it. That you don't have to do that. Praise me more. Anyway, that wasn't creepy at all. Where are we going? Uh. Uh, do, 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 yeah. Okay. Horizon. We must go to Horizon. I don't know why there isn't a teleport in, uh, uh, what's it? I'm good at this. I know this game. Is it Vesper Bay? Is that where this is? Whatever. There should be a teleport to the Waking Sands. I don't understand why there isn't one. I think there actually is a story reason behind it. Something about how, well, I mean, the game establishes that these crystals are an actual, tangible thing, and lots of people use them to teleport. And I think that it's an actual, like, economic reason. There's politics involved or whatever. But it's still annoying. Why must we do this? Uh, I suppose I didn't have to put you through this. I could have edited this footage out, and we could have just gone straight through. But then again, what's a let's play without some uh, superfluous wandering? Besides, we look like a witch now. I should put his hat on, but I like his hair, so I want to see his hair. It's really lovely hair. Anyway. Off we go. We must speak to Tataru. Tataru? Tataru? I know I came to a conclusion about this name before, but I've already forgotten. I have a wonderful memory. The theme song of this broom seems particularly apt, considering that. Yes, Vesper Bay, I did remember something. I'm proud of myself. Okay, so here we are, back into the Waking Sands to find out the next twist of the snake, so to speak. Let's find out what's going on. Okay. Hello. Well, if it isn't my favorite adventurer, welcome back, Elyon. Are you just saying that because I'm as short as you are? Lady Minfilia awaits you within the solar. Please enter at your leisure. That's probably why. There's lots of tall people in this organization. I'm sure she's tired of having to crane her neck to look up at all of them. I'm refreshing. Anyway. I am given to understand that the matter of Ramu has finally been resolved. Hmm. I fear resolved bespeaks a permanence we cannot rightly claim. Yet I'm well satisfied that the Lord of Levin will not trouble us in the foreseeable future. Your satisfaction is assurance enough for me. How fares the investigation? Well enough. Thancred is sparing no effort. They are many and one, just as you suspected. Their purpose, however, eludes us still. Who are they? I see. What do you see? I have been meaning to ask, but is uh, Alize quite well? I feel as if I have scarcely seen her in recent days. Oh, you haven't. And nor have I, alas. Alize has chosen to walk her own path, stubborn girl. But you may be assured that our destination remains the same. And on that note, I take my leave of you. I trust the Baldesian report will serve you well. I 
I take it we can proceed as discussed. Why do you ask? You scarce need my permission to act. Well, that was ominous. Do 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 do. do. Hi. You're tall. It is good to see you again, Elion. Everyone keeps saying that. They're all delighted to see me. Yay! I've been looking forward to congratulating you on your triumph in the Twelves Wood. Owing to your efforts, comfort has been averted. Truly, you've done the Scions proud. With that, we can strike Ramu from the list. So who's next? The Sahagan and Leviathan? The Lord of the World has not answered his minion's call of late, nor is he expected to do so in the near future. All these lords, while the Sahagan remain as aggressive as ever, they lack the quantity of crystals required to call forth their god. As with the sylphs, we can leave them to their own devices. For a time, at least. For a time, bears repeating, we can ill afford to fall complacent. It is as Eustola says. Unless we know the minds of the beast tribes, we cannot predict with any certainty when next a primal will return to plague the land. This being the case, the case, we must proceed with as much haste as prudence allows. Any word on Titan? The Maelstrom keeps the kobolds under constant observation. We shall hear from them ere long, you may depend upon it. Indeed. So then, of all the known primals that have been active in recent times, we are left with... Gritania! Wait, I mean, Garuda, who's the primal of the Ixal, who live near Gridania. Yes, that's what I meant. So many mounds to cover. Would that there were a more efficient way to conduct our surveys. But he's still with us. We should not long have wanted for a more practicable solution. Is that even a word? She's not wrong there. Where in the world are you, Chief? More importantly, who's the Chief? Is it me? But one sure step at a time. Henceforth, the Order of the Twin Adder will handle all manners pertaining to the Sylphs under the sage guidance of the Seed Seers. I bid you all enjoy a moment's respite. You've earned it. I'm guessing that doesn't apply to me, though. I'm thinking I have more shit to do. Is there something else, Elyon? Yeah, there's this cutscene I missed. Uh... Beg pardon. A man named La Habrea, sporting a red mask and robed in black. Twelfth Preserve.
Prior to the calamity, the Ashians took great pains to remain hidden. Why would they choose to cast off their veil of secrecy now? Gods, this bodes ill. We must take advantage of the present lull in primal hostilities and investigate this La Habrea. Learn all we can of him and his designs. I dread to thi- <coughs> Totoro! Yes, we must run! That was quick. Oh. A sylph in Banwin? <sighs> Yet again, at long last, this one finds walking one alley on. Shocking, you were looking for me. This one is most dependable of these ones. That's true. Is sent by Elder One Frixio to help walking ones. This one is called Naraxia. This one comes as a friend. Let these ones be friends. Pleasure to meet you, Naraxia. Well, that happened. I suppose it could have been worse. But there's still the matter of this La Habrea person that we don't know. We're gonna have to look into him. See what madness he has cooking behind the scenes. But for now, we're going to let Elion take a rest here on this uh, handy little stool. And I will see you next time. So, goodbye everyone. And goodbye, Elion. There we are. Alright. <laughs> bye bye.